had been in the desert for a while when I stopped by Moses' tent. I wanted to get a closer look at the Ten Commandments that he had brought down from Mount Sinai. <clears throat> good morning, sir. Uh, uh, good morning. I... I just wanted to see the stone commandments that everyone's talking about. Did God really write them with his own hand? Yes, he did. What was it like to be in God's presence? It was beyond words, Seth. For God has come in this way to show us his awesome power. This is the covenant I am going to make with you. I will perform wonders that have never been done before anywhere in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people around you will see the power of the Lord, the awesome power I will display through you. Your responsibility is to obey all the commands I am giving you. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. God wrote his commandments in stone so that we could write them on our hearts. And he has many more things to share with us as well, Seth. In fact... Moses, you sent for us. Good morning, Joshua. Aaron, I was just about to share with Seth some very good news. God has chosen to live among our people. In our camp? Yes. The Lord has given specific instructions on how this should be done. We must build a tabernacle, a place of worship, and a chest called an ark to hold the tablets of the Ten Commandments. To start, we will need acacia wood, gold, and jewelry. I will ask the people for donations. I will ask Matthew to help spread the word throughout the camp. I will tell my mother and Ephraim the incredible news. Israel, bring offerings for the tabernacle to the meeting place by the eighth hour. All over the camp, people wanted to help any way they could. So, what have you boys brought to donate to the tabernacle? Is this the ring your father gave your mother? Yes, ma'am. She wants God to have it. This symbolizes the important bond and commitment that your mother and father had. Oh my, for a widow to give up such a treasure, God must have truly stirred her heart. Thank you both. You're welcome. Come on, Seth. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, sister. I must talk with you, Aaron. You are eating us out of house and tent. What are you talking about? Bread, dates, figs, goat cheese, wheat, all gone in one day. Gone? I didn't eat them. Then who did? Whoa! Brat! Oh, Whoa! Brat! Rats! Those furry bandits are on the loose again. Then you must do something about these four-legged thieves. Perhaps I can ask Matthew to keep an eye out for rodents as he makes his way through the camp, spreading the news. Excellent idea. Whoa, that was a close one. I don't like rats. They're dirty and they steal food. They're not the only ones. Take a look. That monkey's a thief, too. Hey, where did he come from? Come here. Offerings for the tabernacle should be brought to the meeting place. Any and all thieving rodents should be reported to me, the camp crier. <sighs> and rat catcher. <gasps> Guess who? Come on, Sarah. I'm really tired. I've got a big assignment. If I rid the camp of rats, I can really shine in front of Moses and Aaron. Ah, <sighs> Thanks. You took our donations to Miriam, right? Well, actually... Sarah! I can't be asking everyone in camp to give if we haven't donated yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was busy. You were busy singing again, weren't you? Well, as a matter of fact, I was. I am not thrilled that my wife is wasting her time singing. You used to love my singing. Well, th th that was before. In Egypt, there was time for singing. In a desert, there are more important things to do. Rat! <gasps> Hold it right there! <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll get you. 
get you. Ouch. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Sarah. That's a beautiful brooch you're wearing. Oh, thank you. It's my songbird. Well, Matthew gave it to me as a wedding present when he liked the fact that I sang. Well, I like the way you sing, Songbird. And who might you be, young man? Simeon, I am here to offer my gift. Simeon is a singer, Miriam. He was quite popular in Egypt, with some. Oh, Sarah, I am hurt. Sarah was going to sing with me before all of the plagues. Before I got married. That plague, too. <laughs> You see, I know many of the craftsmen who are helping. I would like my gift to be that of a song. I will raise my voice to the Lord to celebrate the tabernacle. Hmm, a musical tribute. Maybe then we could finally sing together, eh, Sarah? Why, that might be a wonderful idea. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll have to ask my husband. Ah, of course. Please do, because you have the finest voice of any woman in the camp. And I'm sure we could make beautiful music together. That monkey stole my mother's ring. What would a monkey want with her ring? I don't know, but we've got to get it back. <sighs> oh. Oh. Finally getting some exercise, eh, Ratso? Amos, you look worn out. <laughs> I thought Rat slept during the day. Hey, I heard you've been stealing everybody's food. Mm. What did I do to earn this reputation? I'm the one you blame in every situation. Now you think that I'm your little thief, but it's untrue. I'm proud that I'm a rat, rodent to you. Rats to you, I know it's wrong to steal. Rats to you for such a cheesy deal. When they're devious and bad, be they camels, be they cats. Why do you have to call them rats? I only need some food I can survive on. Just a little garbage I can stay alive on. I won't let you blame me for a deed I didn't do. There's monkey shines at work, I'm telling you. Rats to you, God says that it's a sin. Rats to you, you steal, you never win. When they're cheaters or they're thieves, be they slimy snakes or gnats, why do you have to call them rats? I'm always on the run, being chased from here to there. Running for my life, doesn't anybody care for rats? Rats to you, I'm shocked by what I've heard. Rats for making rats a dirty word When they're rotten to the core Be they cockatoos or bats Call them ickies, call them creeps Call them turkeys, call them sheeps Call them mooches, call them monkeys Call them goons or gums of rats But why do you have to call them rats? Oh, Matthew, you're home. I was asked to sing in the tribute this morning. By whom? Simeon. Simeon. The singer who was chasing you in Egypt? Now it all makes sense. Now I know why you go out every morning and practice singing. <laughs> I am not stupid. I'm just a poor man, certainly no match for silver-tongued Simeon the singing star. It's not like that, Matthew. L let's talk about this. What is there to talk about, Sarah? Obviously, I don't make you happy. Matthew, uh, you're just a little jealous. This is what you wanted, isn't it? To, to be up on stage again? Hmm, huh, maybe. Well, then do it. Maybe I will. I'll be late tonight. I have to go to the south side of camp and look for rats. That's where Simeon lives, isn't it? Maybe you should stay there. Maybe I will. Wow, it's amazing how high Zeke flies. I wonder if he can see all the way to the promised land. It is said that falcons have such amazing vision that they can look down from a cloud and see a mouse on the ground. What does that mean? That was a warning. Someone is coming. I wonder what Sarah's doing out here. 
hello, Simeon. Songbird, what a pleasant surprise. <sighs> um, I came to say no. A long walk for a short answer. Uh, I needed some air. Fight with Matthew? None of your business. You're right, I'm sorry. You could have such an exciting life. Oh well, but before you go, can you do me one tiny favor? The monkey steals the jewels, and the master steals the hearts. We've got to do something. Sing one song with me, please. There is a magical moment that happens once in a lifetime. Like two stars colliding in the sky You're singing a solo song Then somebody comes along And that magic moment belongs to you and I Cause all I need is you For everything I am and everything I do Yes, all I need is you Your smile is all it takes To make my dreams come true I have heard all things are possible The moment we met I knew I'll have everything I need Now that all I need is you. Yes, all I need is you. The world that's in your eyes is where my dreams come true. Yes, yes all I, I need is you. Oh, could you be the one my life's been leading to? Have I found what I've been searching for A love that's designed for two I'll have everything I need I'll have everything I need Now, now that, that all I need is you <laughs> Oh, sorry about that Ah, right <laughs> You boys need to be more careful. I... I better go now. Your monkey stole some jewels from the tabernacle donations. What? Martel, come here. Show me your hands. Show me your pockets. Mouth. I'm sorry, boys. He doesn't have anything. But if something turns up, I'll be sure and get it back to Aaron and Miriam. Thank you. Good work. She'll be back. Sorry, excuse me, I'm chasing a rat. Uh, did you see where he went? Well, it, it looks like he's not here. Please, Matthew, don't scare the animals. I'll get you yet, rat. If it's the last thing I do. That was a close one. All clear. You can come out now, Amos. And to think that I was saved by a donkey. Yeah, well. That's what friendship is all about. We've got to protect each other. No matter what happens, we're committed to each other. Thank you, guys. Oh, look, Zeke's back. That monkey and his human have quite a scam going. The best I can figure it, Simeon steals a lady's heart 
and then steals her jewels. Adultery and stealing. Then his monkey steals their food, and I get blamed for it. Oh, I must have dropped my brooch at Simeon's tent. It's got to be there. Well, I don't like it. It's nearly dark, and she's going to see that awful Simeon again. Well, we've got to stop her. Maybe we should alert Matthew. And how are we going to do that? Easy. Get Matthew to chase me, and I will lead him to her. No, it's too dangerous, Amos. Come on, guys. It's all about commitment. How often does a rodent get a chance to help someone save their vows? To help do something good? The rat's got a point. Thanks. I think. And it's rodent, if you don't mind. Sundown approaches, and all is well. <sighs> all is well. Except for me. Matthew, are you all right? Joshua, yes, just tired. Are you sure? No. Actually, I'm not at all sure about anything anymore. Sarah and I had a big fight. What happened? Simeon wants her to sing with him, and I exploded. Why should she stay with me and when a star asks her to sing? Matthew, I can't imagine Sarah leaving you for a man like that. Go after her. Show her you care. Have a good chat and... A rat! Rat! Come back here, you! <laughs> Coming through! Simeon. Simeon? Sarah. Back so soon? I lost my songbird brooch here this afternoon. Have you seen it? Well, you're welcome to come into my tent and take a look. <gasps> ah! The mouse! Oh, get out of there, you rat! What is this all about? <sighs> That's Sarah's brooch. That's Sarah. <laughs> Matthew, strong as ever, I see. Stronger. Whose jewels are these, Simeon? That's my mom's ring that she gave to Miriam for the tabernacle. The monkey stole it and gave it to Simeon. The boys are right, aren't they, Simeon? These things are stolen. Oh, no. Sometimes my monkey accidentally takes things. Like Layla's ring and Sarah's brooch. You and your monkey have stolen from the people and from God. Ah, uh, but Joshua... But worse than stealing bracelets and rings, you have tried to steal a treasure far greater. Another man's wife. <sighs> We must bring this to Moses and the Council of Elders. Come with me. And we mustn't forget you. Matthew, nothing happened, honestly. I was close to making a horrible mistake, but, but nothing bad happened. I am so ashamed. It's not all your fault. I let myself get too busy. I neglected you. This songbird is a symbol of our love. We need to find what we once had. I'm willing to try again, if you are. I love you, Matthew. I love you, Sarah. Ew, I hate the kissing part. Uh, let's go put my mother's ring back in the tabernacle offering. Construction started on the tabernacle. Matthew showed me how to collect acacia wood. And Sarah helped sew garments for the priests. It was an amazing time in the camp. I also learned that you can never steal from God and get away with it. 
How are we coming with the priest's garments? Oh, excellent. We have a new seamstress, who is also a wonderful singer. There is a magical moment that happens once in a lifetime. Like two stars colliding in the sky. God chooses the time we meet, for love makes our hearts complete. He joins us together in love that will never die. And all I need is you, so I will put you first in everything I do. Yes, all I Let no one come between Two hearts so strong and true God decreed our bond inseparable The day that we said I do I have everything I need Now that all I need is you Yes, all I need is you the heaven is Dreams are tossed in passing storms Let God show us what to do I have everything I need Now that 